Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply improper fractions, so how to work through a multiplication problem involving one or more improper fractions. Now we go through any problem involving improper fractions the same way we do with proper fractions. Multiply straight across, so numerator times numerator, the top numbers, and then denominator times denominator, the bottom numbers, and then simplify if possible. Improper fractions just have a value greater than one whole. If we're given a problem involving any improper fractions, that doesn't change the way we multiply. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have eight thirds times one fourth. Let's multiply straight across, starting with the numerators. We have eight times one, so straight across here, eight times one is eight. Now for the denominators. So three times four is 12. We end up with eight twelfths, which is correct, but we can simplify. The greatest common factor between eight and 12 is four. Let's divide eight and 12 by four. So eight divided by four and 12 divided by four. Eight divided by four is two. 12 divided by four is three. Two thirds is in simplest form. So this is our final simplified answer, two thirds. Let's move on to number two, where we have five halves times 11 sixths. Let's multiply straight across, starting with the numerators. Five times 11 is 55. Now for the denominators, two times six is 12. So we end up with 55 twelfths, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number for our final answer. We do that by dividing. So we divide the numerator, 55, by the denominator, 12. So 55 divided by 12. How many whole groups of 12 in 55? Well, four. That gets us to 48. We don't hit 55 exactly. We have a remainder of seven. And then we keep the denominator of 12 the same. We end up with four and seven twelfths. We can look to see if we can simplify that fractional part of the mixed number. Seven twelfths is in simplest form. The only common factor between seven and 12 is one. So our final answer, four and seven twelfths. Now I do wanna review real quick how we went from that improper fraction to a mixed number by writing out all of the steps. So we divided the numerator, 55, by 12. So 55 divided by 12. How many whole groups of 12 in 55? Four. So that's the whole number part of our mixed number. Four times 12 is 48. 55 minus 48 gives us a remainder of seven. That goes right here. Then we keep the denominator of 12 the same. So we end up with four and seven twelfths. So there you have it. There's how to multiply improper fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.